From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. The recent uptake in confirmed coronavirus cases continue. We have now passed 9,000 total cases, with 90 of them between Thursday and Saturday last week. And there's now genuine concern that the country could be facing a third wave of this virus. 14 cases on Thursday, 34 on Friday, 42 on Saturday, a trend that has health officials worried and the government concerned. The Tribune reporting this morning that the numbers has led to cabinet-level discussions on whether certain islands may now need tighter restrictions. Most of the cases reported in the period are in New Providence and Grand Bahama, 39 in the capital, 34 in Grand Bahama. Smaller numbers reported in Abaco, Eleuthera, and Andros during the period. There are now 30 persons in hospital getting treatment for the virus. Two of them are in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. Tourism Minister Diagulis among the cabinet members openly expressing his concern about the increase. He says a third wave of this virus would set us back dramatically, and he is urging the public to do their part to avoid this. Meantime, vaccinations continue in the capital and in Grand Bahama. Close to 7,000 persons now have their first shot, including Police Commissioner Roll, who is urging but not insisting that police officers get vaccinated also. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The church is now throwing their support behind the corona vaccine. A statement from the Christian Council's Vaccine Investigative Committee says their experts agree that the benefits of getting the vaccine far outweigh the disadvantages. Former Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands urging officials not to be lenient with those persons caught using what is believed to be fake coronavirus test results. Dr. Sands says the alleged offenders were driven by selfish motives and should be punished accordingly. Police with some work to do from the weekend. They have another murder to investigate. A man shot and killed on Gibbs Corner here in the capital. The murder total approaching 30 for the year now. Three other persons in hospital from weekend shooting and stabbing incidents. Two persons died in separate traffic accidents over the weekend. One in Andros, the other in the capital. Both victims are men. Both incidents under investigation still. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny and warm today. Highs from the low to mid-80s. 82 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. No marine advisory winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to upper 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors. It's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Monday's World News headlines. More countries are dealing with the third wave of the coronavirus now. Major issues in Europe, hardest hit Germany, France, and Poland. Case levels are rising dramatically in those countries, forcing new restrictions. Chile in South America is facing problems also. Britain has had one of the most effective vaccination efforts. And beginning today, the British are relaxing restrictions. Sports is returning, and the stay-home order has been lifted in most of the United Kingdom. That huge container ship stuck in the Suez Canal for days has been partially freed now and should be totally refloated by the end of the day, clearing the way for shipping to resume in the channel. The ship has been there for almost a week. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week sell 481, SO 457, Rubus $4.74 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Good news for Jazz Chisholm. 
He's the starting second baseman for the Miami Marlins in Major League Baseball. Find out how he won the job in spring training. By the way, the season begins April 1st. Bad result for Team Bahamas in the first round of the World Cup soccer qualifying tournament. Read about it. Get the latest on the March Madness College Basketball Tournament and meet the winner of the first school's golf tournament. The Suns continue to win in the NBA. DeAndre Aiden continues to play well. Find out what he did in the latest Suns win over the Hornets over the weekend. Get the latest on Buddy Heal also. He and the Kings won again. Details in the Tribune Sports Monday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news spray. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.